Hey guys, what is up? Don't know what you're here. So today I'm going to be doing a review of Apex Escape 2 on the PS4. This is pretty much just a remastered version of the PS2 game with better graphics and that's pretty much just really it. I don't see any real differences and I do own this on PS2 as well. Um, so if you've never played an Apex Escape game before, the basic premise for this game is your name is Hibatari and you're trying to recapture the monkeys let loose by Spectre again. Um, Spectre's the boss from the first one as well. And you use, you're given all these different tools, stun rods, hula hoops that make you go faster, catapults, monkey attractive banana things. Um, and you're pretty much just trying to use all these items to recapture all the monkeys in each level. Well, the set amount of monkeys in each level, you can't go back and recapture each monkey at the other monkeys you didn't capture the first time. Um, and some monkeys do require you to actually get a new upgrade to actually beat them. Or not beat them, capture them, sorry, should I say. So the difference between this game and the first one is this actually has boss battles for once. Um, the first one actually didn't have boss battles, which a lot of people actually thought made the game a lot more monotonous and boring. To be honest, I still did enjoy the first game. Not me or not. Um, I still really enjoyed it. But yeah, that's pretty much the basic premise of this game. So the controls are very, very simple. X, triangle, square and circle control. Um, the weapons, whatever weapon you use, one I use, you just press the corresponding button and then you use it with R3. So yeah, that's pretty much just the controls out of the way. Next I'm going to talk about the camera. The camera in this game can be very weird. It does get in your way sometimes, but you can adjust it, thank god. Um, which is really, really good because I hate games of non adjustable cameras. It just really does my head in. So, as me pretty much talking about the camera angle, um, the graphics in this game are very nice. Obviously, it was remastered for the PS4. There isn't really that much of a difference if you really ask me. The game already did look good on the PS2 itself. Um, it just smoothed out the edges really and just made it a little bit more appealing to look at. But aside from that, no real difference at all. So that's um, that's the basic stuff for the games. So, as I said, there's five monkey bosses before each, um, after every couple of levels there are five monkey bosses and after you beat all five bosses you obviously get a chance to fight Spectre. Um, once you beat Spectre and you collect all the monkeys, this game actually has a second playthrough which you can actually play as from the original series but to do that you actually have to get all the monkeys in every level um it's not too hard of a challenge really um and it does give you some replayability as well and spike does play a lot different uh, a lot differently than uh Hibatari does also here's a quick note on this the voices in the uk and the europe version of this game are all british but in the American version, they were actually voiced by Ash and Misty from Pokemon. Um, I think that would be awesome if they really if they did that in our version as well, instead of giving them like generic British voices. But nah, that's just a quick wee thing I wanted to throw in there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much just the basics of the game. They also got this gotcha box, which. You get coins throughout the level and use the coins to actually get items in the games. You can get soundtracks, mini games, uh, photos, of ga uh, photos of characters, stuff like that. 
There's also trophies in this game, which... If you want to get all the trophies, there's no platinum. I don't know why they didn't put a platinum in this game. Like other HD remasters, but... You can't get trophies in this game anyway. Which, I'm a really big fan of this game, so I'm definitely going to try and get all the trophies in it. Even though there is no platinum. So, yeah, that's pretty much basically all I really have to say about this game. If you guys haven't played these games before, and um, you own a PS1 or a PS2, definitely go back and give them a try. Because they are really, really fun games. They might get a bit monotonous if you play them a lot. Um, well, a lot of people find them monotonous. Um, me personally, I just think they're really fun. I... I can play these for hours in the end, to be honest. There's lots of things to do in this game. Lots of monkeys to capture, lots of stages to go through. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just all I really have to say about this. Um, I'm really sorry this video is so short, guys, but... Um, I don't think there's anything else I can really say about it. If you haven't played them, obviously give them a try. It's really cheap on the PS4. Um, if you want to play this one. Unfortunately, this was the only one released on the PS4. There are games on the PSP as well, including the remaster of the original game. Um, well, not a remaster. Uh, updated version, should I say, of the original version. Um, as well as the spin-off games as well. There's spin-off games as well to it on the PSP. So, anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any Ape Escape members you want to share, if you really enjoyed Ape Escape, or if you actually decided to go out and play it, and you enjoy it or you don't enjoy it, let me know. I want to know what you guys think of the games, or the game, anyway. Um, but yeah, this is definitely not too saying. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out. See you later.